am Akanksha Melkani. I am a postdoctoral scholar at the Dafferty Water for Food Institute. I joined the institute in October 2021. What attracted me to this position was the ability to work on an important issue like water. We all know that using scarce resources like water sustainably is a challenge that we cannot ignore. I was very excited to be part of finding solutions to this issue. This position was also a good fit for my skills because it requires dealing with large data sets and using statistical tools to understand trends and relationships from that data, something that I enjoy doing. Applied microeconomics is a field of economics uh, within which we try to understand the behavior of different agents like farmers, employees, consumers of food products, etc. using economic theory. And then we test those theories using data to check if our theory holds true or not under a given extent. Uh, for example, give, let me give an example related to groundwater, which is what I work on. So economic theory tells us that groundwater is a common pool resource. What does that mean? That means that it is a shared resource that has to be used by several users, but it, al it is also scarce. So suppose I am a farmer and my neighbor is also a farmer and we have to share a groundwater basin for irrigating our crops. My use of groundwater may reduce the amount of water available for my neighbor and they, it may lead to a possibility of conflict. Now different things can happen in this situation. On a very positive note, me and my neighbor can sit together, create a mechanism to figure out how to share this resource sustainably. On a very pessimistic tone, we may just continue pursuing our self-interest and keep using the water more and more and deplete it ultimately. Of course, these are extreme situations and the reality usually lies somewhere in between and where data helps us check what is actually happening in reality. Applied econometrics is a branch of statistics that is specific to studying economic phenomena. In the case of agriculture, water and food related issues, we can uh, use data on water use, agricultural yield, land revenue, etc. and study how they respond to various external changes such as the changing climate, some change in laws, institutions and regulations. Basically, we try to test economic theory using real world data. Applied microeconomics and econometrics are very closely linked to each other. We need applied micro to motivate economic questions and econometric tools to test if our economic theories hold in real life. Applied microeconomics and econometrics help us understand complex economic phenomena from many different perspectives and provide as far as possible the most objective solution to real world problems. Because we are constantly testing our theories with real world data, these two fields have made research more outward looking, more practical. As a researcher, even though I rely a lot on economic theory, I have to constantly keep, keep my mind open and challenge those economic theories based on what I observed from real world data. So what attracted me to this uh, career path is that I'm fascinated with data. I believe that it offers endless opportunities to improve our understanding of the world. I also just enjoy, you know, how we can obtain meaningful insights from messy look looking numbers on a spreadsheet. It's just something I love doing. I've also valued work for its meaning beyond just uh, profit making. And so this opportunity to put my skills to use uh, into creating solutions for pressing problems such as water scarcity and agricultural sustainability naturally attracted me. So I work in collaboration with the National Drought Mitigation Center and the Department of Agricultural Economics. My current pro project is a part of the National Drought Mitigation Center's work, which is related to the social and economic impacts of droughts and water scarcity. Uh, apart from that, uh, my team members are also part of the Department of Agricultural Economics, from whom I seek advice 
and guidance related to the subject matter uh, specialization. So this is how my work is connected with these two organizations. Currently, the project that I'm working on is related to examining how groundwater use regulations in Nebraska have changed farmland values. So following uh, severe droughts and water conflicts in some parts of Nebraska over the last two decades, some parts of the states have developed their own mechanism of regulation of the groundwater use. This includes some ban on um, development of new irrigation wells and uh, some restrictions on how much water can be used by irrigators in a year. So the immediate purpose of this study is to understand how these new regulations have changed the economic uh, aspect of agriculture, basically their land revenues and the value of their land. But the overall purpose is to understand the, the impact of drought on farmlands. Uh, right now, some preliminary results show that following these regulations, there was a steep decline in some parts in steep decline in the groundwater, in the land uh, value of some parts of Nebraska. However, because these results are preliminary, we are not 100% sure if this is really a result of the regulation or there's something else going on that we haven't looked into right now. I have learned a lot about the current water-related issues in the US and globally since I joined this job. I'm, the thing that I'm most impressed by is how different organizations, including governments, private institutions, non-government institutions, have all come together to develop solutions to this problem. And this is an area I'm very excited about and I wish that I continue to work on it in the future. <music>